Hi guys, I've got a 1998 Chevy 350 Vortec engine here and I'm going to talk about how to install a distributor. So there's a lot of good information in YouTube videos about, out there about how to install the distributor and set the timing correctly, but because I have the engine out, I think this will provide a good visual on how to do it as well. It's a rainy cold day in Minnesota and I've got a tin roof, so hopefully you can hear me over the rain. So first of all, if you're just replacing your distributor, uh, well, first of all, so distributor location, here's the lower intake manifold. This will be towards the back of the engine by the firewall. Um, now, if you're just replacing your distributor, a good thing to do is mark it with a paint marker, mark your intake manifold and the distributor housing itself, um, and that'll, that'll make this process a lot easier because there is, you can change the timing, the retard timing of the housing itself. Um, and that's something that may have to happen at a shop or with the correct tool to do that. However, the actual timing of the, of the distributor um, is the same no matter what. And you can't change that because it's messed with the camshaft. So we're gonna start, we're gonna take it out. Now watch what happens here to the rotor of the distributor as I take it out. So you can see, sorry. Oh, whoops. So first you're gonna wanna take out you know, it depends on, on how it mounts, but this one has, you know, this bracket type mount. You're gonna wanna loosen the bolt. You don't have to take it out, just loosen it and move it out of the way. Now, you can see as I pull this out, the rotor turns, it rotates. Um, and that's because of the helical gear right here. So this gear meshes with the camshaft and that's how the distributor is rotated. And also that's how the oil pump is driven. So you can see this little tooth right here, that drives the oil pump. So if you look in there, what you see right now is the oil pump shaft. So that's driven from the distributor and just to the left of the shaft, you can't see it, but to the left of that is the camshaft, um, the, the gear that meshes with this gear here. So um, the first thing to do is you need to set the, cam you need to get the camshaft in the correct location so it can mesh with this. Because this is mechanically meshed, you can't adjust this. Um, you just have to set the timing correctly. So, how you do that is you set your engine to top dead center. So when people refer to top dead center, um, you're always talking about cylinder number one. So in this case, cylinder number one is all the way towards the radiator and on the driver's side. Cylinder number one. So, down here, you have your balancer and your timing cover um, and you can see the notch here and you can see a notch right there. So you line up your balancer with your timing cover and that tells you you're at top dead center at piston number one. However, because it's a, a four, four cycle engine, you can, you have your compression stroke, you know, you have four cycles. So you could be at top dead center at compression or also at intake, you know, so it compresses, you know, explosion, exhaust, intake. So, you know, you're coming back up and then the four cycles. So you need to ensure that you're at compression top dead center um, because that we're talking about the distributor and you want to ignite the fuel when it's, when the air fuel mixture is totally compressed, that's when you ignite it. Um, so, and you can get 180 off. So this is an important step. So what you do, at least, there's a couple ways to do this, but this is how I do it. So I have my um, spark plug input right here, cylinder number one. I just stick my finger in there. I rotate the um, crank bolt there, and I'm just rotating the crank. Make sure you do it clockwise. And um, I'm just waiting until I feel compression on my finger. And you'll hear it, you'll feel it. It's, you know, as long as you have good rings, you'll, you should be able to hear that and feel it. Um, so once once I feel that compression, I'm done with my finger, I, I, I can walk away, and now I'm just lining up these lines. Because like I said, this tells you that it's at top dead center, um, and this is just telling you at which cycle it's on. So that's how you set top dead center, uh, compression at least. Now that you have that, and you're, now you know that your camshaft is located in the correct position. So, now you have to set the timing correctly on your distributor. And there's a couple ways to do this that I've seen. 
Um, the easiest one that I found is to line up. Let me see if I can focus here. Okay. So line up. There should be a paint mark. You can see it right here. And there's two notches on the distributor. So you can see them right here. Just line those up. Simple as that. Um, you know, I saw some people doing other things and, and maybe if you don't have this paint mark, you might have to look in other things, but I found this works and it's, it's pretty simple. So now what I'm going to do is, okay, there we go. So I'm going to line up this flat part of the distributor, roughly square it with the intake manifold. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop, drop this in. Now, okay, so, and I'm just kind of doing this roughly right now, so I might have been a little bit off. There we go. Um, okay, whoops. Okay, so, now you can see it's not fully seating in here, and that's telling me that it didn't mesh with the oil pump correctly. So, what you need to do is either, if you have your engine out, it's it's really easy for me just to take a screwdriver and just rotate the oil pump drive shaft a little bit and just keep kind of trial and error until it drops in. Um, otherwise I've seen people kind of bump it with the, with the, with the starter um, and just rotate it like that. However you do it, just make sure that it's fully seated. Oh, and the other thing is don't forget your seal. You need to have a seal in there or else you'll have an oil leak back here. So once once that's installed, um, yeah, and actually, I can tell this is out of position here. Oops. So, I'm going to redo that. Sorry. So, I'm going to, once again, line these up. It's harder, harder to do this on camera. Okay. And I'm going to put it back in. There we go. Okay, so that worked a lot better. And now you can see it actually sat flush. So that means it mated with the oil pump. Okay, so now what I do is to verify that you've set it correctly, here's what you can do. So we know that piston number one is at its top dead center for compression stroke. So right now is when you should get the spark because... You know, now you need now you're at your power stroke. So you need to ignite it and and deliver the power. So you can take your cap and um, so right here is cylinder number one spark plug. This will go off to cylinder number one. And you can see in here um, you can see what what the con what makes the contact. So I'm just gonna set this down here. Oops. And I can tell, so if you look right about here, so this is where the rotor should be facing. Cause this is, this is where it, it makes a contact for cylinder number one. So if I take that out, I can see it's, it's pretty close. Um, the other thing is this rotor should be lined up with this number eight mark. So right like that. So that's telling me that, um, that it, for an eight cylinder engine, that's how you would line it up. For a six cylinder, I believe you'd line it up over here. Um, so that's how to install a distributor on a Chevy 350 engine. Now you may have to adjust it slightly like this, um, as just to, if it's running a little bit rough, but with it set like this, the timing is correct and you will be able to start your engine.